Let's try this. We are gonna do an ocean pour. Oh, this feels weird. Hopefully we can rescue our sink. Yeah. Well, hello there. We are in the process of making our outdoor kitchen, which you might have seen from our table saw assembly video. And we have managed to build a cabinet. We decided to go for a beach theme because it's gonna go outside with our pool and we just wanna have a bit of a vacation feeling while at home, so beach theme it is. And we are gonna do a epoxy resin pour. I'm gonna try to do an ocean pour. I have prepared my surface. I've watched dozens of videos on how to do epoxy pours on tables, so let's hope this is going to work. I've got my epoxy resin. And I bought a whole bunch of mica powders from AliExpress. Let's try this. Tiny bit of glitter left over from the project that I did. Nice holographic glitter and I think I'm gonna put that in the beach parts so that I've got a nice sparkling beach. Oh, okay, that's quite a bit of glitter. When in doubt, add more glitter. No, that's that's nice. Don't you think? You think that's nice? Yes. Yep. <laughs> the scary part. <laughs> Oh, this feels weird. Oh, it shimmers. <laughs> I'm making sure I get the edges, sides. I mean, that's gonna drip off a bit anyway, but... <laughs> I love your definition of dripping a bit. <laughs> I think I should pour some more of the dark sand closer to the beach, what do you think? And you should have all the blue first. Yeah, I'm realizing that too. <laughs> okay. Gloves off, and I'm gonna pop some bubbles, 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 and I'm gonna try doing the white waves into it. It's looking huh? pretty awesome. How are you gonna pop the bubbles? With the heat gun. In the videos I watched, I saw a guy use white spray paint to do the white for the waves, so I guess I'm gonna give that a go. Just in case, I'm also gonna add a wee bit of this white mica powder, which is then a bit of pearlescent. This is experimenting, we're trying, this is our channel, at least we tried.
this one's doing nice bubbling. Look at that. Like it splash. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that one much more. Ha! I love it! day two of our epoxy resin pour looks beautiful already but we have a small issue with the fact that our board here our MDF board isn't quite straight it goes a bit like this so leveling it is pretty much an impossible job because if you level it on one side it's not level on the other side we've leveled it as much as we can and we'll make sure that on this side we'll you know try to maneuver the resin so it sticks as much as possible aside from adding a few more of the waves with the white i'm also gonna add a bit more of the sand because um when i painted this board i had some blue fl flecks of paint that i messed up and i thought the resin would cover it but it didn't cover it enough so i'm kind of hoping a second layer with the sand color might help with that. More resin, more waves, here we go! Layer two is done. Some more waves. And it seems like I managed to cover the blue specks of paint. It's time for our final layer of epoxy and we decided to remove the covering that we put onto the sink. Frog tape that I put on and the plastic layer and it turns out that <laughs> I didn't really put a really good seal on it and stuff has leaked into the sink. Big blob in there. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Right, heat gun. It's time to put on our final coating. It's a clear coat to make sure that everything's sealed in. And we decided to put frog tape around the sides because of the MDF sides. Like the epoxy isn't really going in there quite easily. So we'll finish that with a varnish. Nearly ready. Yay! coat is on and it's setting but we had a bit of an oopsie again where the frog tape just does not stick to the side so ouchie well at least now we know how we clean that up <sighs> same problem over here hopefully we can rescue our sink yeah <laughs> Oopsie! Yeah, major blowout. Oh, oh, oh. That's so cool! <laughs> that definitely went better than I expected. <laughs> oh, this is so satisfying. <laughs> I 
and here's the finished product in place my first ocean pour